Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dylan and I am here with an Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial video and um, let's just get started. We're just going to go over the basic layout. This is um, kind of aimed, the way I'm structuring this is for new Adobe Premiere Pro users, people that haven't really ever used it and they're wanting to learn the program and get into video editing. Now just a little disclaimer, I am not an Adobe Premiere Pro expert by any means, but I do know it well enough to do my uh, edits, whether it's for tutorial videos, for vlogs, production videos. I will share with you guys what I know about it and how I go about utilizing this program. So first things first, we're going to open Adobe Premiere Pro. And you'll get this little splash screen. And depending on what version you have, you'll get different artwork and all that good stuff. But uh, today we're just going to go over like the basic layout of Adobe Premiere Pro. Nothing too hairy, nothing too involved. Uh, so come on Premiere Pro here we go so as you see the first thing you're gonna get is this little area here it's under the work tab and you can see different things that I've been working on but you're always gonna click on, unless you're working on an other older project you're gonna click on new project and then you're gonna get this little box here and uh, this is your location of where your project file so like if you're working on an edit from vacation you can call it vacation doesn't really matter what you call it but I called it Premiere Tut and uh, so like it's on my desktop and then Premiere Tut and that's where we're going to choose to save it and then see we can call the file whatever we want and this is just the project file so if you're working on something and then you've had enough editing for the day or you need to do something else you can save your progress then come back and open up this project file and all your changes will be um, saved and you can pick up where you left off so we're going to name it Premiere Tut so okay and then we're going to overwrite I've already named it that so we're just going to overwrite so then whenever Adobe Premiere Pro comes up this is what you're going to see this is Adobe Premiere Pro and just right off the bat, up in the upper left corner, we're going to click About Premiere Pro. Just kind of a disclaimer. Guys, I am on version 12.0.0, which is build 224. If you have older versions of Adobe Premiere Pro, don't worry about it too much because for the most part, the layout always stays the same. They change and add and subtract things here and there, but for the most part, it's going to be very, very similar. And I'm always going to have the latest, greatest version of Adobe Premiere Pro because I'm on the Creative Cloud which allows you, you have to pay monthly, they don't have it anymore to where you can just um, buy a version of Adobe Premiere Pro fully and then not have to pay monthly. So, um, But the perk of it is paying monthly is that you always get the latest greatest from them. You're always staying up to date. So anyways, that's just a disclaimer. So let's click on that and get rid of that. Okay, so what are we looking at here? Um, here inside Adobe Premiere Pro, as you can see up here at the very, very top, we'll start at the top, you have all these different tabs, audio, all panels, assembly, color, editing, effects, libraries, meta logging, titles, and graphics. Now, 95% of the time, me personally, when I'm in Adobe Premiere Pro, I'm here in this um, editing, uh, this editing menu part of it and of course I'm getting the spinny color wheel there we go and so um, that's basically most of these tutorials I'm gonna be right here in this uh, part of it so just kind of something to keep in mind but let's uh, let's move down here and right here this panel right here it's kind of like a um, what I would call a preview panel of whatever videos or clips you have whenever you're in your edit and I'll show you guys here in a minute what I mean on that. As you can see, as you click, there's four different sections here on the editing part. And if you click them, they highlight blue. So again, this is just kind of the preview tab or kind of, you'll, you'll see what I'm saying. And then moving down here to the bottom left, this is where you can import your videos or your um, photos, your raw video and your raw photos that you're going to be working with, your graphics, um, whether they're JPEGs or PNGs or anything that's going to be a raw individual file that's going into your project, those will be you can find those, import them, and you can uh, you can find those here to work with. Then over here in the lower right, so to speak is your timeline which right now it, it looks blank because we don't have anything imported we're not working on anything we're not editing anything 
but this is where your timeline where you're going to do all your cuts your transitions drop your mute drop your clips in your graphics your music all that good stuff then up here in the upper right this is I guess I said that this is kind of your preview but this is actually where you see what your video is looking like like your actual finished video this is where that's going to show up and where you're going to see how that's going this over here is to where you preview your raw clips that you're working on before you drag them into the timeline. I hope that makes sense, and I think it will make a lot more sense if you guys follow along. And um, I tell you what, I was just that was going to be the end of the video, is just me kind of explaining what these four areas were. But let's drag a raw clip or two in so I can show you guys in a little more detail what I'm talking about. So we're going to go into Finder, and let's just go ahead and maximize it. And then um, let's just go into, man, we're going to find some raw clips here. Let's go 2017. Let's go to July. And let's look at GoPro. And got some, uh, some clips here. So there's a couple ways that you can import videos into your project that you're working on. So let's say here's me and my wife, Samantha. We're at a sunflower field. We can either click, you can open up Finder and you can click and drag right here into your uh, your media section right here. So see, as you can see now, we have this clip here and let's go ahead and add another one. And here's another way you can do it, is you can right click in here and click import. And then you can see it brings up your Finder or <laughs> your Explorer, I believe is what they call it in Windows. I'm on a Mac, obviously, but it's all pretty much the same. Let's go to the same July of 2017. Yeah, I'm a organized freak. This is how I keep all my footage and all my things in order as I do it by year and then month. So then let's just go to a different one. So we have two clips here, and as you can see, this is where they show up in our little, um, our little raw file section. So and you can see that there's more submenu items up here as well, and we'll get into those in later uh, tutorial videos of Premiere Pro. But let's just, for the sake of it, let's say we're wanting to put, a, put these two videos in our timeline and make our movie. So this first video clip, let's double click on it. Now, as you'll see, when you double click on it, it opens up here in the upper left corner, and then you have your little, um, your cursor here that you can scroll through left and right and what what you want to do on this is like so say that we don't want to start using this clip until right here when I start swinging the camera you're going to get on that area and then you're on the keyboard you're going to push I which stands for input or you could have pushed this little button right here mark in either one I for input or mark in and then let's say okay all this looks good all this looks good to where we don't want this in here where the trash is where I'm moving the camera around. So about right there, you can either push O for output on your keyboard or you can push this right here for mark out. So in this case, since I pushed I for input on the keyboard, we'll use this mark out. Now, if you're wanting both the audio and the video from this clip, what you'll want to do is click the clip itself and drag down here to the timeline. And as you can see, you have your video track right here and you have your audio track. Now, I'm just gonna hit the delete button. If you just wanted the video from that section right there, you would click on this little icon and as you can see when you hover over, it says drag video only. You click that and drag it down. Now you'll notice that the audio track didn't come. Now, oppositely, oppositely is that a word? You can click this little icon and it says drag audio only. So if you drag that down, you'll notice that you only get the audio. So let's just go ahead and do both for the sake of whateverness. Whateverness. What are these words? Um, and now you can click spacebar, and it previews and shows your video. Okay. And I know this is 4 by 3 ratio. It's not 16 by 9. Again, guys, I'm just trying to show you the basic layout so you guys can understand what you're working with. And then... I. I'll have tons more tutorial videos and we can get into some more serious stuff. So now let's double click on this other one and let's check it out. So let's say we want to start right about there. We're going to hit I 
or you can hit the mark in and then let's say we want to get to here and push O or the little mark out. We're going to drag both and then see you can put it right there and then right there you're just going to have a basic cut between the two. So anyways guys that basically will do it for this uh, for this uh, tutorial video I just wanted to show the layout and then one other thing I might add is another cool thing about this is um, say you're working on a laptop or something where your space is a little more confined what's neat is, is if you're wanting to kind of zoom in and look at things a little bit better see it full screen whenever again you can see the little blue boxes when you click on one of the four sections so say that you're right here and you want to see that full screen in the upper left corner of your keyboard the little tilde the little squiggly line once this blue is highlighted if you'll hit tilde it pulls it up full screen you hit tilde again it minimizes it say we want to see this full screen click on it blue box around it tilde full screen tilde exit full screen your preview so this is I, I use this one the most full screen because I want to kind of see what my videos are looking like as I'm editing and working on them you click on it push tilde then hit spacebar and it plays our little movie and shows kind of what it's looking like so far so anyways guys that's going to be it for uh, this tutorial um, today I know it was very very watered down and uh, a lot of you advanced guys watching this are probably thinking really but you got to start somewhere and uh, it's the very first of many Adobe Premiere Pro tutorials hope you guys enjoyed it um, please comment let me know what you guys would like to learn what you want to see in Adobe Premiere Pro I have tons of videos lined out and planned and we're going to gradually get more and more advanced and more into this program so as always, guys, I appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that thumbs up button. And also be sure to subscribe as I'm going to have a lot of Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial videos coming up so you guys can uh, have some more fun and further um, edit your videos to a more professional-looking manner. As always, this is Dylan. Have a great day.